welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to have a special episode with my electric ukulele collection. So I'm going to start from the smallest and go to the biggest. The smallest electric uke is my soprano. It's a caramel. Uh, a couple of unique things about this instrument is that it has a slotted headstock. Uh, Slotted headstocks are not unique, but it is unique to a soprano. Also, the active pickup. I don't know of very many sopranos that have this either, so, um, or at least very many sopranos at the price point of $50. So I think that this actually is not available anymore, but it's in my collection. Quick sound bite. sunburst in my collection so this one does have that real pretty tobacco sunburst on it it actually has like some tribal looking uh, animals and fish on the, as a rosette it is a traditional Thai bar uh, bridge and what I also really like about this it has the cutaway and it has these fret markers on the side which also continue on to this side of the neck which I think is really spectacular I think that's so unique and lovely and then it has some more like kind of tribal waves up here uh, and then flight up here it, it looks really cool it's um, I want to I don't know if this would be called etched or engraved but it is really really pretty and I love it um, is active has an active pickup here on this side and let's give it a little sound bite hummingbird ukulele ukulele however you like to say it um, obviously how to get it specific 
specifically because it looks like a hummingbird. Um, it has that dreadnought figure and actually this is my only tenor that has a shape like this, like a classic country, you know, backyard campfire playing guitar. This is my Bonanza tenor. It's got walnut, uh, black walnut on the top and on the bottom. But as you can see, sandwiched in between there is a instrument it's beautiful so on to the next tenor okay so I'm really happy with this one too this is Danny Harrison's signature ukulele with Fender uh, obviously it's got the signature Fender headstock it has Remember, he said this is called Sheila Blue. How pretty is that? Love it. Okay, we're gonna go to the next tenor. Okay, so this is my precious Atlantic. I love this beautiful tenor. It's got that gorgeous purple color. Beautiful, like abalone rosette. That's why I got this strap. Love it. Matches. Um, it has a tie bar bridge, quilted maple underneath all this gorgeous purple, has a fishman pickup, and I want to say this is a 9 volt, has 9 volt back down here. Uh, has that beautiful slotted headstock, I want to say this is abalone friend markers right here. Overall gorgeous instrument, it's a little chunkier than... Um, a lot of my tenors, it's got some depth to it, it has this really great uh, black binding. I like this cutaway, I thought I'd use it, I mean like I'm not that professional, right? But I just but this probably my favorite is a thin body it's a slotted bridge has this uh, flame kind of the India logo sound hole has actually a sound hole up here as well uh, the Florentine cutaway I love how this fingerboard kind of does this weird angles it's 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 cute it's they did right they had a vision and they executed it well and talk about uh, execution this fingerboard is well 
dress, it has this beautiful inlay, um, and probably that's why I fell in love with it. It's got a moon in it, um, sucker for a moon, everybody knows that, sucker for a moon, sucker for orange buttons, sucker for slot of head socks. But let's take a listen. because it has these little uh, flirty fret markers and a really pretty one right there. Uh, it is a pull-through bridge, solid mahogany underneath this beautiful blue coat, glassy blue coat. Um, I really like the way that the, the neck feels and of course it's a slotted headstock so you guys already know. It's my favorite. Just kidding. They're all my favorite. <laughs> all right, let's do a sound bite. produce is 335 or three something but because I had all these custom things put to it it was not that uh, okay so one of them is the fact that it's electric so that is an option you can get if you want to uh, you know do that then I'll, I'll start going up so this wood is a solid wood uh, I want to say it's redwood is that what it says I think that's what it says. It has a uh, yeah slot. Uh, yeah, it has a slot bridge, but it's like a plastic. It was like plastic, and then um, I had it engraved, and I really have to get up close so you can see how pretty that is. And I asked for gold, and I got a gold. It's beautiful. It looks like a mandala. Uh, the flukes are always in this paddle shape, um, but on the back, it's always this ABS plastic. So it looks like, and actually, it's flat on the bottom, so you can sit it on the table. And I and I actually do that. I sit it right next to my bedside area. Um, so this is the one that stays with me all the time. The wood on this is maple on the back and fingerboard and if you get it standard it's going to be plastic I believe it's plastic um, and also the headstock is wood but this is the classic um, I want to say so we say it's like some slotted headstock this is just this is also a slotted headstock but it's not like a classical guitar but it's unique to the magic fluke. I had go to go toe tuners put on it as well. I, I think it typically comes with friction tuners. So I had uh, and also I did a sound side port side port side sound hole whatever you call this. I had one of those put in there so you can look inside. Pretty cool. And of 
course, it's electric. So let's get a sound bite. Oh, I was gonna say one more thing. This strap right here is made by them also because this is not something you can just like put a, a, a strap button on. They have these Velcro straps. It works really great and I love it. ukulele uh, I got it from the United Kingdom from world of ukes and I got this one um, because it reminded me of my dad it's probably the first sounds of my life that I remember hearing it's the first thing I remember seeing is my dad playing his guitar and so they flight makes for that they call the rock series uh, ukuleles and they are solid body ones made to look like a Les Paul ones made to look like a Stratocaster Fender Stratocaster ones made to look like you know the classic Santana guitar and this one of course is made to look like the Gibson SG so it's got the two humbuckers um, all of these buttons which I don't know what they do and this plugs it in right here in the front. It's got like a little a port where you pull the strings through um, to go through there. And these are steel strings. It has these great fret markers, of course, also on the side. These two machines are really, um, they're really fine. Like they are acutely accurate. Like this is really, fine tuning. However, if you're coming from acoustic ukulele playing and you're going to solid body ukulele playing with a, with steel strings, it's a little bit difficult. It's very sensitive to the pressure of your fingertips. So if you do like too much, it's going to go out of tune. If you do too little or even in the wrong place, um, you might have some buzzing or fuzziness um, that you wouldn't normally experience if you just play acoustic ukulele. So let's do a little sound bite. purchase for mostly nostalgia but also because I wanted a solid body ukulele so now that we finished this we're gonna head on over to the baritones I only have two electric baritones um, so let's get to it all right so the baritone uh, this is a uh, caramel I call it the betta fish because it has a betta fish for the sound hole. It is actually made of rosewood. I want to say laminate rosewood. Um, and it has a pin bridge. So the thing about this instrument is they do not make it anymore, but they make one that's better. It has a slotted headstock and I want to say it doesn't have rosewood, but it has blackwood, black something. I want to say it's blackwood. But that's the one I want. It could be ebony. I'm not sure. But it still has a beta. I'm oh, sorry. So it has a beta and it still has this really intricate uh, binding. Uh, and it, But it has a slotted headstock. So that's the one. I'm going to probably sell this one 
and or donate it and or give it away might do a giveaway I don't know but um, I'm definitely gonna get the one with the slotted headstock because how fancy is that it's also electric this is a active pickup it's got the little thing right here but it's by caramel um, and then you put it in here I want to say you need a 9 volt for this instrument it has kind of like a flat neck which I like too and it's satin so it's just kind of your hand glides Really nice. That's how it sounds. So let's give a little sound bite. in your heart or something like that it's it's so cute I just love it melt in your heart I mean come on it's classic I love it so this is one of my baritones and I'll show you the next one right now okay so here we go this is my beautiful baritone by Soto Electrics I will definitely leave that link below he did everything that I wanted this is a hundred percent custom he I think you know this is kind of less Paul um, inspired this switch though wait this switch right here typically you're gonna see it right here I asked him if he could put it down here um, just because I'm kind of used to holding it right here and um, and I don't want to be messing with a switch right here so he just, just put it right here, which I like that. Um, but I noticed him playing it down here, and I think that's a guitar thing to do. So um, I could learn how to play down here. Maybe that's what I should do. But I'm used to playing up here. So you really just, you do want to play in the soft spot, but I, I'm learning. So this is really pretty. It looks like flame maple. I think it's a mahogany in the back. And look at this beautiful cream binding. I love how he made these buttons look really retro. Um, this is an arch top bridge, which I don't have any other instrument that has an arch top bridge. And I, I do want to get another arch top kind of jazz ukulele with F holes and, you know, acoustic electric. But uh, for right now, this is good. Oh wait, I think I lied. Because the banjo, I have a banjo lately, and those kind of have like a, a arch top thing on the the drum part of the the banjo lately. Uh, but I don't have really a jazz uke um, other than this one, this beautiful ukulele. I love the way it feels. He did some really great things with the stain. I asked for a jewel tone um, pink slash purple and that's exactly what he gave me. It's beautiful. Love it. So there's that. Um, he did really cool thing with the back. You see that? What he did there? That's awesome, right? And it's kind of like a flame too going down the side. So it has this look right here and the wall. Um, I want to say walnut no mahogany um, in the neck amazing job um, I love the way that he styles the headstock and he went out of his way to give me these green or, or jade tulip tuning machines so I really love all that um, it feels so good to hold it is heavy it feels like a real guitar and um, it sounds like one. Isn't that beautiful? So I'm going to do this sound bite real quick. I think it's my favorite. <laughs> 
But uh, yeah, so that's my t second um, electric baritone. I have other baritones. Uh, I want to say I have six in total, but I only have two electrics. And I, I'm so grateful and glad that I decided to get this. Also, if you saw me unbox this instrument, you saw that I had bought a Wonder Woman strap for it. And I was like, oh, that's going to look really good. But in actuality, when I put that Wonder Woman strap up against the Pioneer, I'm like, oh, that goes with the Pioneer. And the one that I had on the Pioneer goes really great right to the jade color, the wine color, and the brown and the gold. So, yeah, the, I, I didn't know. I already had the perfect strap for this ukulele. <laughs> Electric, but surprisingly this ukulele and I call it a ukulele they call it a mini bass but it's a ukulele bass trust and believe it is a very small bass so maybe a U bass which Kala makes is a little bit smaller maybe a lot smaller but not by much not by much it's a few inches smaller and really this bass has such a great sound unplugged it can um be played with a group of maybe like six individuals and you're still going to hear that bass i have played in videos where you can hear the bass it is amazing it, acoustic is great and we're going to plug it up right now okay we made it to the end and so this is my largest electric ukulele in my collection so this is a bass it's the Cordoba mini bass but according to me it's a basic ukulele because it is very small it's actually a very very small bass at any rate it is a spruce top ebony back and sides uh, it is a pen bridge of course it actually has I want to say round wound wing <laughs> round wound string say that five times in a row uh it has the wingtip tuners oh what can i say i love it i did not and do not like the um what do you call it hoi hoi strings those rubber um they're too rolly for me it's not that they're bad quality or anything like that it's just they roll under my fingers and i'm used to playing an electric bass i'm used to playing um, viola and violin so I'm my fingers are used to this and um, I don't know I, I when I saw it I was like I'm gonna get it there's another one I'm gonna get that I have to have in my collection it's a Nui Nui base and <laughs> it is colorful actually um, there was one more that I saw that I want to get but the only one right now in my brain that I want to get is an Nui Nui base so let's without further ado oh yeah it has all the other stuff you know electric stuff it's electric it has a uh, active pickup you plug in right here you need a 9 volt battery um, I don't know what else to say about this amazing instrument uh, I've got it for my son Levi but it's mine. It is mine he has the Donner base which he actually loves a lot better because it's a little bit smaller but he's got all his stickers on there so he knows you know where to put his fingers for what note what chords that we're playing but uh anyway so let's give this a sound bite let's let's go one two i also have naomi here she's playing the a tenor ukulele uh, not an electric one but a uh, acoustic tenor ukulele ready one two
end and uh, checking out all of the electric ukuleles in my connect collection um, and if you like this let us know click the like button subscribe do all the YouTube -y things make comments below even if it's a criticism whatever it totally helps with the algorithm and we'll see you next time